Good morning, guys. Phoenix Echo here, aka the Gold Pidgeotto. And as always, you can see where I'm. I'm at. I basically live at this job. And in all reality, it's starting to take a toll on me mentally and physically. But I'm here. I gotta make money. I gotta take care of the house. Pay bills. I really don't want to adult anymore. But unfortunately I have to but anyway the point of today's video is uh, I want to talk to you guys on more of a like for real for real type of note and that deals with a psychological diagnosis that I got diagnosed with about two years ago roughly um, and it is called imposter syndrome so a lot of people are probably thinking what the hell is that and the best way that I can really describe it is that um, well I can't exactly remember from the notes that I took while I was in that session um, but what I can tell you is that pretty much I guess symptoms would be considered extreme lack of self-confidence self-doubt fear anxiety um, and what it comes down to kind of is it's, it's almost like extreme fear of everything, fear of not being good enough, um, extreme self doubt. Like I said, you know, I'm not going to lie. I doubt myself in all of my abilities. You know, I've done a lot of really great things in life, helped a lot of people out. You know, just in general, done a lot of really good, amazing things throughout 30 years. Um, my self-confidence, honestly, I look at myself like, you know, a piece of crap. Like, I feel like I've done a hell of a lot more negative um, in life than I have positive and like, okay, so like one side of my my brain is like, you're a failure, you're a fuck up, you're never going to amount to anything. Um, if you can't do the simplest task right, how are you going to do anything else right? And this other side is like, you know, no, that's not true. You've done a lot of good things. You know, you're a good dude, you're a good person. You know, you do your best and everything. So then I've got basically the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other shoulder. And they're just like crushing my brain, like fighting with each other constantly. Um, you know, and then like imposter syndrome, like being at work. You know, I come in here and I bust my ass. And honestly, no, I don't make a hell of a lot of money. I pay child support on my, my 11 year old. And then, you know, taxes and everything like that. Like, I don't make a whole hell of a lot of money per week. It's enough to pay my bills every month. But, so yeah, I come into work and I'm like, hang on one second, got to make sure that... Alright, I'm good. We haven't opened yet. But, yeah, so like at work, it's kind of like, I come in here and if I ever get told that... You know, maybe I put too many toppings on a pizza or maybe I didn't do something completely correctly by the book. You know, I kind of take it as a personal attack and it makes me feel like, you know, well, I fucked up. Why should I even try it again? And then, like I said, that other part of me is like, yeah, you fucked up, but do it again. You'll do it right. You know, things of that sort. Um, I don't know. I just, I deal with a lot of overthinking. Um, I always, I can't help it some days, but like, I think of the worst possible negative outcomes before an event even happens, you know, and I don't mean to whatsoever. It's just, it, it sucks. Because like I said, there's that part of me that wants to, you know, smack myself in the face and be like, yo, you're fine. Stop worrying about it. 
but at the same time it's i can't like honestly this this stuff kills me to the point some days i barely eat anything or i can barely get any sleep um you know i find it to be like one of the dumbest diagnoses ever because i'm sure so many people deal with it every single day a lot of people have worse mental health than i do now i know like a lot of the fear is you know well i fear that you know i'm never gonna have the money to get a car again like i'm i'm always scared you know financially that i'm gonna end up on the street with nothing you know and honestly i know that's not gonna happen like i work i have a consistent job i'm here like 40 hours a week um you know all my bills are paid at least a month in advance so i i know i'm gonna be okay on that it's just i stopped planning things ahead of time because anytime that i've planned something it always you know okay so if you plan something and it doesn't work out you get discouraged well i would get really discouraged to the point where it's like, well, I'm just not going to try anymore. Like I said, you know, I'm kind of, it's a vicious circle with these thoughts and with these feelings. And it it royally just takes a toll. Um, You know, not going to lie, besides this imposter syndrome thing, uh, in the past, I've been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. And that was mainly from, you know, Lots of traumatic experiences, mainly from my father's parents, uh, mental, physical and emotional abuse for about three years. Um, They kind of started this, you know, hey, if you can't do one thing right, how are you going to do anything else in life? Right. And that literally started over like the most basic thing of washing the dishes, doing my chores. It's like if there was a speck of dirt on a plate. Oh, here's this plate. If you can't do that right, how can you do something else correct? You know, to the point where, you know, there were days with them where um, it would be a lot of belittling, putting me down, making me feel like garbage. And I'm talking like I was the age of like 12 years old up through like age 15. You know, they tried to keep me away from having friends um, and social interactions to, you know, they tried to always buy my love by buying me gifts and shit like that. And it was like, cool, these are nice, but do you really give two fucks about me? You know, type of stuff. Um, so I just, you know, I got the hell away from that and then just growing older, made my own mistakes, learned from them. And I am where I am today, you know, good or bad. You know, I know I'm an amazing person. I'm a really cool dude to talk to, chit chat with. You know, hell, you see me in public. I'm going to talk to you for a second. Just say hi or something. You know, it's like there's only a few people even at my job that I just like don't want to talk to because it's hard for me to differentiate whether they're giving me corrective criticism or just being a complete ass. But anyway, I will talk to you guys more on, I guess, more real notes. Whenever I get the chance, I got to get to work. Love you guys very much. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share. Take it easy.